Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Uh, today, what I got for you guys is I'm going I'm going to uh, give you something for you guys to play around with. Um, I built it out of a. This is actually it right here. I built it on a Pi 4B with just a thumb drive, and what I built was I built a test net node. Okay. Um, I actually injected 5 million coins into it, which are absolutely worthless. That's why they call it a test net. Um, a test net is where you can um, program up your um, ESP32s. That's what I primarily am going to be using this test net as is for ESP32s, um, S3s, and you know, all the the ESP family, um, you could probably put some of those other um, nerd miners in there. I can't see the M5 sticks and stuff like that. You can probably use that to try out the test net also. I was just curious um, on if I could get this test net up and running. And what I did is I didn't use the desktop of the um, Raspberry Pi. I used just a Python program that I did. Um, I built the test net. I went out to Squarespace. I got a uh, domain name for it. It's called ESPCoin.org. Okay. <clears throat> um, I did all the port forwarding. I put a security um, certificate on it so that is it, it is secure so that when you log on to it, um, you don't have to, really you're not going to lose anything anyways it's just on your ESP32 um, but it is a secure site and what I did is um, I injected 5 million ESP coins into it okay again they are worthless I also developed a Arduino sketch for your miner to hook up to the test net okay I was going to do it on platform IO, um, but platform IO can be really uh, intimidating to some guys that aren't very, you know, up on uh, coding, you know, Python or, or C++ or something like that. Our, um, the Arduino IDE is what you need, and uh, it's a lot more friendly. Um, you can actually go out and say, go on chat GPT or um, Gronk or whatever those AI things are and you can ask them questions and they'll actually write some code for you and you can play around with your your ESP 32s and hook it up to my test net okay so again the test net um, it doesn't really work on a stratum or anything like that it's just I, I built a um, basically it is a stratum um, I'm going to I'm going to pass it off as a uh, SHA 256D and but you can play around with it I, I actually think you could um, run a script miner onto my test net and it would work okay that's how um, lenient I made the hashing and everything else and I welcome guys to take my Arduino IDE okay and the and the sketch that I give you and mess around with it you know uh, make it your own. It, it doesn't matter. You know, you put your name up there and everything else. And I'm going to show you um, the uh, pool, okay, where you can watch your miners. You can see the hash rate and uh, see how many coins you... Actually, I, I just want to bring this down here. I'm going to actually bring you guys to... Hang on one second. Let me just get over there. I'm going to bring you to the actual pool Hi guys, so this is the pool right here, um, ESP Coin Live uh, Mining Pool. Okay, this is my one miner that I have running. Okay, I just started this up like two or three minutes ago just to show you guys. Um, I've already got three shares. It uh, shows your. Um, you can actually change this if you wanted to in the uh, Arduino IDE. You can change the miner name okay um so right here that gives you your esp um coin wallet all of the uh wallets start with esp okay and then of course here's your coins uh your shares how many blocks you found 
um, the last, all that good stuff. Um, Ripper One, that is actually what you name when you go over here to generate a wallet. You got to generate a wallet before you do the Arduino IDE. Um, but right when you generate a wallet, that name you put in there is going to be permanently down here. This is a name for each one of your miners. This is the name of the whole account right here. This is the account holder for the um, this wallet. Okay, so if you use this wallet, you have to rename your miner to another, you know, miner two, miner three, or if you even leave it miner one, it'll just say miner one. Then it'll show another miner one and another miner one, so on and so forth. All right. So, anyways, you generate a wallet. Uh, let me do that again. Let me just refresh this because it was, I was right in the middle of a refresh on it. There we go. Hey guys, I just wanted to interrupt the film for a second to interject some things that I missed. All right, um, number one on the uh, pool site, your miner, okay, may be hooked up to the site, but it will not show on the site until you get one accepted share, okay? And then the Python script will grab your share and put it into what they call a, a miner.json file, okay? Then your miner will show up, all right? So don't despair if your miner doesn't immediately show up after you, you know, get it all hooked up, you're on the internet, and it, and it says the hook to the pool, and you go to the pool and it's not there, it will not show up until you get one accepted share, and then your miner will show up. The other thing I just wanted to interject too is, this is a test net, so periodically, I mean, it's running on a Pi 4. It may crash once in a while. If it does crash, your miner may not uh, be there when you go back to the site. Once you get one share, it'll show back up again, and you may lose all of your coins. All right? Sorry, but that's just the sad fact of the whole, you know, test net situation. All right? Um, but anyways, guys, even with those little things, you know, going on with it, when it's still going to be a fun project to be part of, um, you know, we can work as a community and uh, get this test nut up and running. Um, you know, some of you might like it, some of it, you may not, but it's, uh, it'll be really good, guys. It's a really good learning curve for the new guys out there um, that want to learn mining, all right? <laughs> it's better than Duino coin, let's put it that way. This is more real world mining than Duino coin. So if you were thinking about starting with Duino coin, it's that's just whatever you want to do. I won't go with I'm not gonna bash Duino coin. Because that's where I started was Duino coin. Alright guys, back to the movie. Generate a wallet, put in your name, generate. Um, you write down your wallet name, you go back to the pool, and then if you want the INO for the, um, the miner, I just clicked on it here. All right, download the sketch, and I'll put that right into my downloads. I'll say save. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to open it up. All right, and I'm just going to open up my IDE. And it's loading up the uh, the sketch. Let me just bring this down for you. All right. So now you leave this alone. The pool host and the I the uh, port. Just leave it alone because that's the only um, port I have is 8082, and this is the name of the URL for the uh, the node. Okay. And then you can change this way. You can change your minor one. Put in your ESP wallet. It's of course all the wallets are going to say ESP, and then you put in your numbers here, and of course your SSID for your Wi-Fi. Um, I should indicate Wi-Fi right there, so people don't get confused on that. So the SSID for your Wi-Fi, the password for your Wi-Fi, um, and you can just go down through here, guys, and you can change whatever you want. You can, I mean, change the suit, whatever you want to do. All right. Just change everything, see if you can get it to run faster, 
run slower, crash, whatever you want to do. But all of the information is right here for you. Okay. Um, then all you do is just say um, upload. I was going to say blah, blah, blah. Ah, there's no error. Come on. What, what error have I got in here? Hang on. Oh, I didn't tell it what kind of board. All right. So I'll go over here and I'll just uh, fake the board. I'm going to go ESP32 um, dev module and I'm going to say it's on COM4. Okay. And then uh, let's see if I can upload or if it actually wants to see something. Let's see if it actually wants to see. Nope, it's going to go through. I'm just going to check this, guys, and make sure that it compiles fine. <clears throat> because this is coming right off of the node. Let's bring this down a little bit. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's just, while, while this is trying to upload here, it just takes a minute. Um, let's just talk about it a little bit further. Again, guys, this is a test net, okay? Meaning that you're going to earn coins, okay, as you mine on this test net, but they are absolutely worthless, okay? I was actually thinking about if you guys were interested, um, say that the, the first person that gets 5,000 coins, um, I would send, send them a free... Um, you know, ESP32 miner or something like that. Actually, I'm going to up that to like 10,000 coins. All right. Um, and I'd send you out a uh, ESP32 miner. But I'll, I will put that information on the pool page uh, if and when that comes about. Um, you never know, guys. This pool might take off. It may become main net. You never know. But anyways, it's, I just wanted to go back and just say I, I got this note out here. I gave you the uh, Arduino IDE. You can mess around with it, uh, do whatever you want with it. You may even work on other pools. I don't know. Um, I really, I really doubt it because there's not too many, too much in the mining stratum areas and stuff like that in the IDE. Um, it's set up primarily for my pool. Um, so, but then again, you can manipulate it and get it to work on other pools. I'm sure you can. Um, because this is a starting point. This right here is a starting point. I'm actually working on this IDE. Um, I am developing a script miner for ESP32. I actually have it working. Um, but there's not many pools out there that like to deal with the ESP32 mining script. All right, guys. So anyways, right here you can see that it did um, compile okay. It just failed uploading. Of course, it did not see my miner. All right, so let me get out of here, and let me just bring this down, and let's go back, and here we are. Oh, look at that. I found a block. Found a block there, and 13 shares, and so far I've got five ESP coins. Whoa, I'm getting up to that 10,000 to get, uh, get that free miner. But again, guys, like I said, I will post it. Um, right here on the pool page um, if I'm going to give away a free ESP32 miner once you hit 10,000 coins. All right, that I, I haven't made the decision yet. I want to see how this goes along um, because, again, this thing is just running on a Pi 4. Um, so you guys, once you start using it, um, it may crash. But that's something we'll approach um, at that time, of, you know, when it whenever it comes about so let me come back and i'll talk my way out all right guys so anyways that is my little pi 4 node right there the esp coin uh node all right and again it's got five million coins in it available for mining and i just want to reiterate the coins are absolutely worthless all right you can't trade them in for anything you can't get a little cupid doll or anything like that um like i said in the future i may give away a free you know free esp32 all right i may i may i may do that if if the if the need is there and you guys really you know enjoy mining on that test net just you know playing around with it all right 
Now, for you guys that are thinking about trying to crash my um, Pi 4 with, say, a bit axe or something like that, yeah, you probably can. Um, but I do have a program, a, a bit of the program in there that'll immediately kick you out of the pool. All right, just to keep that in mind. If you actually start going over, um, I think I got the pool set at uh, 10 kilohashes. If you go over that 10 kilohash, the pool automatically kick you out. All right. But anyways, guys. Um, yeah, and, and, and again, you, for you guys that are, are maybe tricksters and want to crash the thing, well, why would you do that? Come on, you're, you're just messing up the enjoyment for all the other guys that are trying to get into cryptocurrency and want to learn about it and really don't want to invest too much money into it yet. They just want to put, you know, get their feet wet and see if they like it. And that's what test nets are all about. And that's why I developed this test net. It's all for all the new guys out there. Um, I, I really want you guys to work on it. Um, now, technical advisory on this is going to be extremely limited, guys. I mean, if you break the IDE, I am not going to look at your code and try to correct it and whatnot. I mean, you could. You know, you could copy and paste it and send it to me, and uh, I'll find out what the problem is on it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you. If you do break it and you don't know what you did wrong, Send me the entire file, and uh, I'll take a peek at it, all right? But anyways, guys, have fun with it. I've got one miner on there now. Um, and that's the end of this video. Enjoy the ESPcoin.org node testnet node, okay? Again, I want to re reiterate because I get it all the time. You know, this is a test net and there are coins involved and they are absolutely worthless. It just gives you a feeling that you, you're actually contributing and everything else and you're learning about cryptocurrency. All right, questions, comments, leave it down below. Buy me a coffee. This one deserves a coffee, guys. Come on, you got to admit it. Buy me a coffee. I got to pay for all this stuff. You know, it's, it's not cheap. All right, guys. Enjoy.